so good day guys welcome to today's lesson on start pro connect edition in today's lesson we are going to correct an error so a friend of mine sent me this model on start pro and he noticed some error so let's see what the error is so let's run our analysis okay so now one error and let's go to the output file okay now bringing it to the output file you can see this here double click it and you can see what it's showing us now typically whenever it shows you this type of error it means is a syntax error so it means error above line contains erroneous data so it means there is an error in the uh, program file in the command file so what we need to do is to edit that so the first thing we need to do or the most common thing we can see is that either perform analysis was not applied that is the common error you can get or secondly when your command file has been arranged you didn't arrange it properly so let's go back to the model and let's see some of the errors we can to fix before we solve it okay so now let's see property we can see the thickness of the uh, shell has been assigned then materials also it has been assigned specifications for now no specifications support we can see is using a math support okay which this is the subgrade modulus okay so i don't need to change it i can just cancel it since as it now we can see is loading he has applied dead and trapezoidal load then let's go to live load and let's see what he applied for the live load okay so we can see the live load so the blue one is the one i selected now let's go to analysis and we can see he has placed his perform analysis command here so the main thing that can be one of the can cause one of the errors is having multiple structure so let's see it okay so we have multi we have an orphan node so that is it you can see it highlighted here so under shortcut you can select it and delete it and that shortcut is coming to node tools and remove orphan node so it will remove the orphan node and let's go back to structure tools okay so you can see we have only one structure so we are done with that now the last but not the least is to go to the command file and remember it told us that we have a warning this is the warning the error we have the error we have is from above line 536 okay above line 536 so we need to go to line 536 on our command file okay so let's wait for it to open so let's scroll to line 536 okay so you can just drag your you can scroll it down so this is where we are five three six this is where we are so now from looking at it you can see that immediately after my support i have load but these loads are not under a load case which is what is causing the error so all i need to do is just highlight from element load and check if i have any load case so you can see uh, let me look for my dead load yes i can see my dead load so you can see these highlighted ones here the highlighted uh, values are not under any load cases so they are just floating around so all i'll do is delete it delete save okay then run my analysis so let's hope the error would have disappeared okay so it might take a little while because of the number of nodes we have okay so let's run our analysis again or you can come to analyze and run the analysis but since i'm using 2023 and above i can just come to post processing and i'll run it straight up so let's run it and let's hope the error would have disappeared so it looks like the error have disappeared okay so we have zero error zero warning and zero notes so thank you for watching today's video on start pro connect edition if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment section. Thank you very much.